let's do an introduction video. I'm in my dance clothes, it got canceled, so I decided, well, I'm ready, let's go. Not sure how this is gonna sound, I've never done this before. My name's Christina Garcia, I decided to make a YouTube because I love watching YouTube, and if I love watching people talk about their lives, maybe someone would be okay with looking at mine. If not, it's okay, it's not your jam. I don't know, look up something else. This, okay, I'm in Indiana, I just moved here three months ago, and so it's still kind of a wreck. The kitchen's not completely done. Oh gosh, it's a mess. I'm actually standing where my dining room table goes, but I moved it for dancing over there. And yeah, so I don't even know how to do an introductory. Maybe I should have YouTubed people's introductories, but I'm not going to, because I just kind of wanted this to be a chill YouTube, get to know me, travel with me. I watch YouTube just to, I don't know why, and I usually watch girls or sisters that talk about anything and just their lives. And it's so relatable and it reminds me of my own sisters and family. And sometimes I learn something and I just find it very interesting and thought I wanted to try this too. It's all for fun. So nothing's like super professional or anything. Not that this makes it professional. Ding, ding, ding. I love to dance. I don't always dance like that, but it's definitely the most fun to dance awkwardly. Uh, speaking of dance, I do Latin dancing now, so I'm in my Latin skirt. I do it. All, I started online because of COVID. Oh my gosh! Let's just not even talk about that word. So I dance for fun. I went to school for sign language interpreting and communication disorders, which. It took me a lot of years to figure out what I wanted to do, but it was pretty interesting that both of the majors that I picked were about communicating, like speech therapy and sign language interpreting. And they, not that they go hand in hand, but it, there was a lot of crossover when I worked at an elementary school. Yes. I think I got into that because my little brother, Michael, was bullied a lot his whole life. Uh-oh. What, oh, another thing you don't know about me is if I get really emotional, I will usually just start like dancing it out and it makes it go away. Anyways, he has Tourette's um, and so he's just dealt with that his whole life in bullying and I've had a hard time myself feeling like I wish I was able to do something. Okay, anyways. This is not about being emotional, and I'm not the most emotional person, but where you could really stick it to me is my talking about my family or my husband. Then I'll either get really sad or really angry. <laughs> so let's not do that. If you talk about me, I could take it for some reason. I don't really care, but it really harms me when people talk about people I love. I don't know why, but anyways. So I was talking about... <laughs> Gosh, how do people stay on track? Like, is there someone behind the camera and saying, hey, you just talked about this, let's talk about that? Because mine on YouTube is just gonna be random and I just wanna talk. Oh yeah, so I was talking about communication disorders. Other jobs that I did during college, gosh, I did so much just to try to stay out of debt. I was a waitress, a bartender, a go-go dancer, a shop girl, hmm, a promoter girl, gosh. Number one was nannying. Nanny by day, go-go dancer by night. Anyways, I've had lots of crazy different jobs. I don't know how I had all that energy because now I'm 34 years old and I like just took care of my husband. I nanny on the side. Now I'm starting a YouTube and dance for fun. I try to work out, but don't judge me, <laughs> please. And I'm just like, where was all that energy? That's crazy. Like having a job and staying up till two in the morning and waking up for school and still partying. Like what? How did I do that? Then when I got older, I'm like, all right, I'm going to party, but I can't be working the next day. You know, it's 
and take the day off. <laughs> That's so bad. Another thing you don't know about me is, gosh, it's annoying, but I usually have migraines almost every day. I mean, not migraines, I'm sorry, <laughs> headaches every day. And I do have migraines monthly. They used to be almost weekly, but I've been seeing a neurologist since 2017, which is another fact you may not know about me. I had a, a brain aneurysm that they found because of, long story short, I had a migraine that lasted two weeks. I couldn't get off the floor. It was pretty bad and I begged for somebody to look inside, inside of my brain, not inside, literally a CT scan. They were like, oh, it's gonna be nothing blah, blah, blah. And at first they were pushing back and saying they didn't want to look nicer. And then they just went ahead and looked in my head and that's how they found the aneurysm. And it was about to explode. So I'm so happy that my migraines happened because it did save my life, even though it feels like it's slowly killing me. I try and have a good attitude about it because if not, then that would be a terrible, boring life. Just sitting at home like, Oh, my head and neck hurt. Oh, I do do that, but alone. And I try to still be me, be happy, go out, have fun, dance. My mom always tells me, oh, you can't dance or work out because you're going to cause a migraine. It's like, I can't live life like that. Like not doing things just because I'm scared of my migraine. Like, I'm fortunate enough to have a husband that like does provide for me, which is crazy. Another thing you don't know about me is I didn't like love growing up. I, well, you know, probably deep down inside I loved love, but I was afraid of it. I come from a divorced family. Not that that's bad. I was so happy that they got a divorce. Sorry, because that's another story. I mean, I have so much to talk about and this is just about getting to know me today. So uh, that's a little bit of family history. I mean, I could dive a lot deeper into that and it doesn't all have to be serious. I don't want everything to be serious. Whoa, migraines, family, blah, blah, blah. I wanna have some fun videos on here. And I'm originally from California. I'm Filipino and white. My dad is Filipino and my mom is white. Uh, people used to think I was adopted and my sisters used to tell people that. And they even told me that. They're like, oh yeah, you know that picture of you where mom's holding you? Um, that's not you. I believed them when I was growing up and I cried. But anyways, <laughs> they're my older sisters. That's what they do. And my little brothers would stay in my closet, wait for me to come home, and they would have a mask on. They had the scream mask, Michael Myers. Didn't freaking matter. They were waiting in a corner for me outside in my room. Guess what? I'm 34 years old and they still do it. So I am a jumpy, easy to scare girl. It's so annoying. I even try and prepare myself. Okay, if a bad situation is going to happen, this is what I'm going to do. Huh. Nope. I'm the girl that dies in the movie. Falls, stumbles, deer in headlights. Okay. So now... Those are a few things to know about me. Another thing I already mentioned was that I love to dance. I love to dance awkwardly, but I also love learning real dancing. When I was in high school, um, well actually before that, my mom put me in soccer growing up and my sisters were great soccer players. Slide tackle, head the ball, chest the ball, give an elbow. And then they were like, well, let's sign Tina up. Sorry. I told you my name was Christina, but my family calls me Tina, so I might refer to myself as Tina. Anyways, let's sign Tina up. Uh, yeah, they took me out of that pretty quickly. I mean, they tried me out. I went to practices, I went to games, but I definitely was not enjoying it as much. I also would wear skorts. That's a skirt with shorts under it. And the minute they knew I wasn't gonna do it was when it was raining and we had to play and it was muddy and I was like, I gotta get dirty. Well, I guess this is what you gotta do when you're a Castro. <laughs> and then I like have a mean face, tough face in my mind, I thought I did. And boom, there goes the ball in the middle of a puddle. And I was like, uh, all, if I go around the puddle, it's a lot closer to the ball. So I ran around the puddle to get to the ball. And that's when I realized I shouldn't be a soccer player. 
thank goodness, because then my mom took me to a dance class and we stood outside and I looked at the window and I was like, I can't be a dancer. They're doing the splits. I just thought dancers, oh, you gotta do the splits. You have to know how to turn a thousand times. Well, yeah, I'm never gonna be a dancer, mom. Can't do it. Oh my gosh, heart's pounding. That was all in my brain. But I told my mom, maybe. I was super shy, you guys. I can't believe it myself that I was a shy person. When I started dancing and figuring out like me and my own body and my feelings, like I loved feeling my feelings through dance. Happy, sad, mad, angry, all of the things. Even if I'm not that great of a dancer, feeling it and doing it felt so powerful and it was a way for me to release my emotions because I used to not even talk about my emotions growing up. And I took a break from, or I stopped dancing after high school because I was like, oh, I gotta grow up and be a big girl and make money because I don't want to depend on a man, blah, blah, blah. Because I was against, oh, like I said a long time ago, love and depending on a man. I didn't want to have to because my mom got kinda, I mean, they both got screwed, okay? But my mom didn't have a job really because she was taking care of seven kids, so. I tried to go part-time because my husband wanted me to do part-time or no time, which, hey, some people are like, hey, I'm gonna do what, work and do whatever I want. And I did at first just to be nice, pretty much, and to pay for gifts because I was like, I wanna pay for my own gifts, but they wouldn't let me go part-time and it wasn't, is the word conducive correct? I don't know, but you can check. Maybe you know, but I feel like the word is conducive. It was not conducive. <laughs> so I actually went back to nannying, which is what I did through college. And I asked if I could. Not that I need permission, but you guys, I feel like you guys are going to judge me because I'm like, oh, I asked or he told me I didn't have to work. It's, I do feel lucky and I just ask because we're in a relationship. Like I would like him to ask me if he wanted to change his job, you know? It's not like they're gonna say no, it's just communication. Hey. <laughs> okay, so I went to nannying part-time and now that I've just moved to Indiana, I haven't really had time to like look into that because I've been going between Indiana and California. And yeah. Anyways, look at these baby hairs. I'm sorry guys, my YouTube is all over the place. Um, one day I'm gonna get better and I'm gonna be able to edit this and you won't even hear the BS. So there you go. Sorry if I act weird and I keep looking to the side. I just, it's my first time. This is my first episode. I am gonna watch it and be like, ew, I should delete it. But I'm gonna leave it right here because hey, this is me. I want you to get to know me. I wanna get to know you guys. Ask me any questions. What else? Okay, so I told you a little bit about my family, the hobby I love, college, jobs. Oh, and my move. I left California eight years ago. Sadly, I cried for a year, mm -hmm. a year. <laughs> I'm not joking. It wasn't every day, but I cried a lot because I love Cali. I know people, some people hate it, but I absolutely love everything about it. Not everything, sorry, not the traffic, but it's worth it. My family, I'm just so close to them. We all lived in the same city. And about the time that I was leaving, my sisters, my brother, they were having children and I was just crying. I thought my nephews and niece were not gonna know me because whenever I left a nanny family, you know, I would take care of them sometimes since they were three months old till they were two years old and move on. And it's like, I still have like this love for them, but like they don't really know who I am. So I would always go through this little like withdrawal of the children. <laughs> and I don't know, because I just get really attached to them after taking care of them for so long. And yeah, so I thought that was gonna happen with my nephews and niece. I'm like, they're not gonna know who I am. So every time I came home, I was like, Auntie Tina's gonna have a party. We're having a superhero party. We're having a princess party at Auntie Tina's house. There's no rules. 
fudge. I was like trying to be so cool. But anyways, it worked. <laughs> they know who I am, so that's good. And I guess I don't always have to like go all out. I just have to be me <laughs> and show them love. So anyways, I'm really happy now. And crying, Colorado. I didn't like Colorado. We could go into that in another YouTube about the places I've lived. And now I'm in Indiana. I actually love it. Is that not good to talk about on here? I don't want to talk about anything like that's bad and I, so let's move on. But I do like Indiana, I'm like it's right out here. And I live downtown, so that's so nice because it's easy for me to meet people. And we're 15 minutes from the airport. And Colorado always an hour, so that's just great. And we just bought a place in Anaheim. I'll have to sh give you guys a tour of our Indiana place and Anaheim. Um, after eight years of not moving back to California, and I've been praying for it every single day, my husband sold our mountain condo and got us a second home there because, yeah, I'm not crying all the time about not being there, but my family is there, my best friend since elementary, and my dance life is there. And fortunate, and I just want to take you guys on a journey with me. My goals are, my ultimate goal is to be famous. So a smaller dream is just to have fun on YouTube, actually, <laughs> and answer questions, get to know you, get help you guys get to know me, and take you on a journey of my life. And I'm gonna compete soon. Let's see, in a few months. I just started dancing again, by the way. I took a break from Latin dancing. Oh, now I gotta tell you about Latin dancing. I started Latin dancing um, a little over a year ago, but for six months, transferring from Colorado to here, there was a lot of tumultuous things happening with the move, work stuff. That could be another story later. Uh, okay, I better go, my phone is actually dying. What a rookie mistake, my charger's right here and I'm not even charging my phone. Yeah.